Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the BTM Club Kitchen. And people always say to me, why don't you ever show your face? Well, the thing is, usually when I'm cooking, I'm an absolute mess and I don't want to put you off your food. So that's why I never show myself when I'm cooking. So yeah, you don't want to see me, you want to see the lovely food. So today I have been challenged to make courgette um, fritters. So that is what I'm going to do. Two big courgettes. And you know me, I can never just do things simply. I always have to complicate my life. So I'm going to add some broccoli to it. I'm going to add red peppers, bell peppers, sweet peppers, spring onions, red onion. I do like my onion. Some spinach that's seen better days, but by the time I've chopped it up really finely and mixed it in the batter, it'll be fine. And all you need is some salt, however you like your salt. You know me and my pinch of salt, as I always say. It depends on how big your hands are. So, a pinch of salt and black pepper, my favorite meal, which clearly needs to be filled, and my homemade seasoning of garlic, onion, and mixed herbs. And of course, this is the flour. I'm always a mess with my flour bag. It always ends up getting split somewhere along the line. And I have to put it in a plastic bag because it ends up all over the floor. So there we are. We're going to make some courgette uh, fritters. And I'm going to add a whole lot of stuff to it just to give it a bit of a lift. Well, how colorful does this look? Don't say I'm not good to you. I spare you the boredom of all the chopping and fine cutting. So I need a mignon. I need a commie chef. Any volunteers, please let me know. Here we have the spring onions, the red and orange peppers, red onions, and the finely chopped spinach. Okay, the spinach will go into the batter last because that's the last thing to cook. And here is the courgette, which I finely grate. Um, courgette, you know, it can be a bit bitter if it's overcooked. So I just chop it finely so that it's not too hard. Because again, the worst thing is when you bite into something and the veg is rock hard. Al dente is okay, but you know, when it's rock hard in fritters, it's not that nice. So there is the finely grated courgette and red onions, red peppers, orange peppers, spring onions, spinach, which will go into the batter last, and the broccoli, which has been slightly blanched. So that will cook nicely and won't be too hard in the fritters. Right, so what we are gonna do is soften these onions and peppers in some olive oil. As I said, the spinach and the courgettes will be the last thing to go in because they'll cook quickly and courgettes tend to get a bit bitter. Like me, bitter and twisted if they're cooked for too long. So those are the onions and peppers. They will soften in that olive oil and get to know each other well. That's right. Go. Let's give that a stir, shall we? Right. Okay. So we're going to just put those in there, let them soften. Look how good that looks. Really colorful. Um, yeah, so we'll just leave that in there, let them get to know each other and become acquainted, get nice and soft. For me, I think these can actually cook forever. Onions and peppers can cook forever. I think the longer they cook, the better they taste because they tend to caramelize and become a lot sweeter. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna leave those to get to know each other and let them have fun on the fire. Right, these have become amply acquainted, as you can see. Nice and soft, caramelized, as I like my peppers to be. And now I'm gonna add the broccoli and the courgette. So here's the broccoli first. You 
broccoli and as I said parboil it because this cooking and a little bit of frying for the quadrant cakes is not going to really cook your broccoli right through. So you need to really blanch it beforehand and then just let it catch the flavor in the pan here. Right, so that's the broccoli added. And here comes the courgette, finely grated. That's it. So you've got the broccoli, the courgette, and all of that mixed veg in there. And this only really needs to turn for a few minutes. Again, my favorite saying, let them get acquainted. Soften a bit more. And then we're ready to make the batter and make the core jet cake. Okay, everything is in there now. And I'm going to add the seasoning. My favorite. Can you see it? Can you see it? My black pepper milk, my absolute favorite kitchen utensil, I have to say. See it? My dried seasoning, which is the garlic, onion, lots of garlic, mixed herbs, and a little chili. And that pinch of salt that I always talk about. There you go. And then we are ready to make the batter and add this and then fry them. Right, now here is the batter, the simplest of things. Flour, plain flour, and water, and that's it. And a little baking powder. I could have used self-raising, but I didn't have any, so I improvised and used plain flour and just added a little baking soda. So, that's it. Now, it seems like it's not a lot of batter in comparison to the amount of veg, but just like when I make my fish cakes, I can't stand a whole load of fluffy batter around two little strands of salt fish. Okay, I, I like to taste what I'm supposed to be eating. So, really and truly, I only make enough batter to bind it, and that's it. So this is all gonna go in there. This will all go in and then the spinach will be added last. Righty-ho, there it is, all mixed in. See, it does swell up anyway because of the baking powder. Um, I think I said baking soda earlier. Baking powder, please. Don't get them confused. And be like the girl with the Gorilla Glue. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, there it is, all mixed in. And as I said, I'll add the spinach last for the simple reason, as you know, spinach doesn't need much cooking. So it didn't need to be in the mix earlier. But here it is going in now. And then once that is all mixed in, it will be ready to deep fry. There you go. Looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Colorful. Okay guys, we're ready to go. 
and yes you can see it's my faithful pan this pan never fails me it boils it fries it steams it does everything you know just one of those pans that cooks as we say sweet it really does cook sweet so that's why this literally does everything so we're ready to fry this now the oil is hot I either use corn oil or sunflower oil because I find it personally lighter than vegetable oil or and obviously you can't fry deep fry in olive oil so I use either um, yes what am I, doing? I use either olive not olive oil corn oil or sunflower oil so we're ready to put this in now to fry and here we go I don't like them too big like a frisbee I think they're cute just a little drop in there and of course you don't really need to set fire to them because all of the ingredients is cooked you just want it to get golden and the flour cook obviously and as I said I don't put too much batter because I want it to be predominantly ingredients It's at times like this you really need smell of vision. Really you do. Take my word for it, they smell great. Okay guys, these are ready to come out now. As I said, you don't want them too dark, you just want them golden. Just cooking outside because all of the ingredients is already cooked. And you just want the flour to cook, the batter to cook. So now uh, if you've been following the series, you know that once I'm frying anything. It always has to go on this tray and go in the oven on a low heat to actually drain off the excess oil. Um, so yeah, but they look pretty good, don't they? Not bad at all. Quite pleased. So yeah, these are going into the oven to drain. And this process continues until that entire bowl is empty. And then we can tuck it. This is the last batch of these. Well, they were supposed to start off as courgette cakes, but they've kind of turned into a mixed vegetable cake. So, and you know, you can do them with whatever vegetables you like. That's the truth. You know, you can do them with whatever vegetables you like. You can add vegetables, take vegetables out, or even just use one vegetable. Entirely up to you. But there they are, and they're gonna go back into the oven. One trying to escape there. Um, they're gonna go back into the oven to drain just a little bit more. But as you can see, nice golden brown. And that's it. Courgette and mixed vegetable cakes. Okay, I've renamed it. <laughs> you know me, I love to improvise. I hope yours turn out wonderfully. Let me know if you try them. And yeah, for the veggies, you'll love this. And you know what? They're a healthy snack. You don't need anything else with them. Enjoy. Okay, guys, there you have it. Courgette and mixed vegetable cakes. That's right. Give them a try. Let me know how they taste. Let me know if you like them. A lot, a lot of nutrition in there. Really fantastic stuff. 